we hit bottom. We're not proud of it, but if you're in a room full of sailors and one claims they never hit bottom, they're either lying or they never leave the dock. Our rudder was pushed up and the metal pin worked really hard to keep it in place and was dragged down through the board. There was damage in a couple other places as well, so our friend Pablo is teaching us how to fix it. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We're looking for adventure and freedom in harbors unknown, but for now, we're starting in our own backyard. We sold our dream home of 16 years that we remodeled with love and attention to every detail and moved on to our catamaran Wanderlust, where a couple of dreamers with a longing to explore the world's natural wonders, food, and cultures. To live by the wind, current, and the sun, Click the subscribe button to come along for the ride. We had a little uh, touch and go on the bottom of the canal and we had a little damage to the rudder and I'm here with our friend Pablo who's going to teach me how to fix it and really fix it himself. <laughs> 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 I'm going to watch him to learn how it's done. I've never done this before. So we're going to go through the steps and he's a great teacher and he's going to see how to uh, teach us how to work with uh, with epoxy and fiberglass and, uh, and so thank you Pablo. Do you have any, any words, words of fire, wisdom? Yeah. Well basically uh, every time you fix composite or fiberglass first thing you want to do is you want to remove whatever is broken. Um, you cannot adhere new materials to something that is loose, shaky or kind of cracked. Mm. So what we did over here, Fabio uh, started sending all around the damage area. In this part over here there was a crack on the trailing edge and actually it was a little bit smashed out so he cleaned all the materials first he grind the crack the main part and the laminated uh, fiberglass fibers and then he went ahead and feather with a DA an 8 degree paper all the bottom paint got to the epoxy got everything clean so we can start laminating over there um, over here at the bottom, he did exactly the same thing. Remove all the bottom paint and all the contaminants. What kind of grit is this? This is 60. Uh, I, I, I just find something coarser. They had coat the bottom paint to the epoxy. And the way they do it, the way they do this, I told you, is there is one rule of thumb that when you touch the epoxy and it's tacky, it's tacky to touch, but it doesn't stay in your finger, that's the optimum time to put the other paint on top of it. Mm. Chem chemically, it bonds together. It's very strong, a very strong, uh, uh, a very strong adhesion. Right. So right now we are going to remove this we're going to get to the post fiberglass we're going to grind this but you want to have white which is the gel coat then you want to get the gray why yeah. because then we're going to apply in the same way right and we want materials to overlap we're going to do this uh -huh. from here and come back okay. again this way and grind it okay okay but we want to go gentle and over here too is is an angle the, oh look at this that's carbon fiber there is it it's black, see, black and shiny. Oh. Oh. So maybe, maybe they use this, this thing for carbon. It's stronger and light. So we want, we want to do that, right? Uh -huh. But you know, sending is probably the most skill intense <laughs> activity in the marine industry, <laughs> and, and it's way, you know, um, underrated. Underrated, because everybody thinks they can send. Uh, the way you send, the way you angle, the way you do things makes your life easier or worse, yeah. you know? So, what we want to do is we want to angle the machine a little bit, yeah. like in a 33 degree angle, yeah. and come slow with the tip and go back like that. Oh, okay. And we only want to do that. We don't want to go like this, like this, and we don't yeah. certainly don't yeah. want to go over here. No, yeah. Okay? We want to get all the loose parts. Okay? That's it. It's all the loose parts. Okay. Great. Whatever it was broken, it was falling apart because then you're going to be adhering to the same thing. Yeah. 
We don't want to go more than that. Okay. So we go 35. You always have to find the most convenient way of working yeah. with that angle. If, if you want to do this, you come like this. If you want to do that, you come like that. So, you know, it's just, it's automatically comes into your brain. Some people do it backwards and they get in trouble. The cable, always, always behind you. Okay. See? So, what happens is you never get a cut to there. Because if you're in an island or somewhere, you cut the cable, you don't have any the cable, you know? You gotta take care of your tools. So, you come like this, you're always safe. Like that. The next step was to make the form that would become the fiberglass lining of the pinhole. We made a run to fiberglass coatings nearby in Dania Beach to pick up the supplies. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. Epoxies are, they don't need to be exact. Being exact is better. Yeah. It, it cures completely. Uh. It does whatever you have to do. You know, so that's why these cups are so good. Uh. So if you read over here, if we run over here, because they sell these with pumps that you put one pump and another pump and they're already pretty thin. But uh. I don't know, you know, I get pumps from wherever. Yeah, so, so I don't know if the ratio is good. Yeah. So I do it, if I read and it's 5 to 1, 4 to 1, I more or less do it by... Yeah. When you do it every day, you can actually feel it. Oh, I got you. But if no, you use these cups. Clear the wet system is better, at least you just... Uh, Let's see where we are. Here, already, see? One. One. Yeah, a little bit about one, it's fine. A little bit about one. I'm telling you, man, this is not a... A little bit under, yeah. see? Yeah. No, a little bit under. I just want a little bit more. And we're gonna go a little bit over because it was a little bit over. Yeah. Mm. A little bit under, just a little bit. That's good. I'm gonna do mesh. Now you mean. Beautiful. Okay. I will cook it a little fast. Oh, it goes faster if you put a little yeah. more. You can always tweak epoxies. A little bit under, a little bit over. We made the form for the pinhole liner from bamboo, fiberglass and epoxy, blue tape, and we're now epoxying the thinnest sheet of fiberglass we could find to the outside. Once in the rudder, we plan to drill the center out and the fiberglass shell will remain to act as a barrier between water and the interior foam. It's longer than what we need, so we're gonna cut it. Don't worry about mm -hmm. the ends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to push the air out a little bit and go. Keep going. Keep going. We're done. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Good. That's good enough. Just leave it over there. Uh, no, we're gonna have to put it. Get stuck. No, here. I have to put them on plastic. Okay. Perfect. That's beautiful. Fifteen minutes, we take it out. They have all different ratios, 3 to 1 to 1, 3 to 1 to 5%, to 10%, 4 to 1 to 1, 4 to 1 to 1, 4 to 2 to 1, 5 to 1 to 1, 6 to 1 to 1, and so on. And then they have over here ounces and they have milliliters. So this is, what happened is there are some epoxies that are going to be 4 to 1, 5 to 1. So what this does, it makes it easy to you because on the first line, it will tell you if it's a five to one, the first line is a five, let's do the five, 
five to one over here. The first line is the five quantities, and the second line is the one quantity. Ah. So you reach to one, and then with the other part you reach to one, and then you have your ratio already made, five mm. to one. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. So it's got different ratios. And we are going to use right now, this is an epoxy that is part A, part B, equal portion. So oh. it's 50%, one 50% of the other. So what you do is, we can mix two ounces of one part, four ounces on another part, and, and that's, that's a perfect ratio. Nice. Perfect. Couple of tricks of the tray. Oh. Trick of the tray. All I right. like it. We're going to shed the new tool, but we're going to learn it. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go to two ounces, okay? Yeah. Two ounces. Yeah. And if you go a little bit over, it's okay. Four. No. Yeah. <laughs> so before we mix it, we're gonna make sure that we have everything because once you cook the epoxy, you start working against the clock. Yeah. So you gotta have everything ready. One to one, very well. You have to mix it very well. Okay, take it from the sides. Yeah. Once it becomes a uniform color, transparent or transparent, start it to cook. How, how long do we uh, usually? How long does it take to cook? Uh, I never work with this stuff, I don't know, but probably about half an hour. Oh. For induction time. shape it a little bit better. Turn, turn, turn the board around or? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We're going to sand all this stuff and shape it. No? Yeah. Sometimes it takes you a couple of fills, then you can get away with one. It's okay. And so now you just lay it dry until, until it can pair it, right? Just let it dry. Let it dry, we send it, we shape it. Lots of tricks. Pablo had broken the fiberglass sheet apart and mixed it directly into the epoxy so it was more pliable and would fill all the nooks and crannies of the rudder. Yeah, I mean, unless you know what you're doing, you would never figure this one out on your own. Yeah. No. <laughs> Plus, no. there's so many little tricks that make it easier. Yeah, there's no book. There's no book for this. No, because you just you learn by doing, and then you need to talk to the people that know. Have made but it's no, it's no crazy to learn. Right. I mean, the principles, you see the principles. Yeah. yeah. You grind, you get the loose material out, you get a good adhesion, right? If you go, if you try to do that over the bottom pane over there, it never sticks. Then we remove the tape. Once it dries, we remove the tape. We grind it a little bit. We cut it. Now we have that size already. We can flip it over. Mm -hmm. We have that a mold that yeah. you can laminate on top. Yeah. 
You try to laminate everything at once, it's going to keep falling down yeah, and everything exactly. like that. We might have to go over here and feed one more time, but we already started. Yeah. You know, and it's okay to do it in layers. You don't have to do it all at once. We had to enlarge this hole because this hole is yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah, plus we get it enlarged anyway. Yeah. Then we're going to feed that. Yeah. When we'll enlarge it, so we'll put this thing on it. Then, it cut, then we cut it. And then we fill it with fiber glass. So. Then we're going to drill a hole the size of the pin inside. Now that all the fiberglass and epoxy was applied, we had to wait for it to dry. Join us next week as Pablo shows us how to sand and finish the rudder repairs. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share it with a friend, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!